Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. Last episode, we killed Calamite. Yeah, that's about it. That's literally what took us the entire episode. Cutting off his tail was quite a challenge, but we somehow got it. And after that, we pretty much wrecked him. This episode, we're going to go back through Ulusil. We're going to take that elevator back down and continue exploring where we left off at. We're just gonna run past these guys and just... Yeah, these elevators go fast, so if they wanna come after us, feel free. Alright, so this part. This part's a little troublesome, but we have some range style uh, attacks, so it should be good. So you got two mages, you got one melee guy, but their melee guy's hiding behind the walls. No, right there. So. Yeah, see, that's what happens. There's my... Ah, uh, that was not smart. <laughs> Alright, take two. We wanna go down here, we wanna lure them. Are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Alright, so he's not gonna shoot dark magic ass this time, that's fantastic. Bait the attacks get neither one of them on the swing that's perfect exactly how I planned it all right cool now we got two I think if we get a little close they're gonna start shooting yeah they're gonna start shooting magic at us ow god that magic does a lot of damage I don't want to keep my eye on them more than this guy but you gotta keep your eye on this guy or else he's gonna okay they're kind of coming at me it's a little aggressive of them. I guess now's a good time to talk about this. These guys drop two things. First, they drop their headpiece at an extremely rare rate. Secondly, they drop their catalyst at an also extremely rare rate. Why did I think that would work? Bro! You know what? I'm done. This game has broken me. I'll tell you what, today is just not my day right now. Oh okay. Now that, that pain and suffering is over. God. I just cannot catch a break in these later videos. Let's head up here. And we come face to face with Mr. Chain Guy. Why do I call him Mr. Chain Guy? Well, one, I have no idea what else to call this thing. Ow. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. Why is he wrecking me so hard? wrecking me so hard.
There we go. Okay, I, I just was very confused. Oh, he doesn't drop it. Well, he usually drops chain equipment. And you guys know how I feel about chain stuff. Come on here, we call the ele Oof, hiccups. And we have a friend waiting for us. Goodbye, friend. I had an item. Nope. Okay. Alright, so we head down here. And it is pretty dark down here. Don't bother trying to put on a skull lantern or a sunlight maggot or anything. It's not going to help. It is... This is the abyss. Oh boy, this place is... This place is something. Ooh, tiny bug. No! I'm back! <laughs> oh, that's just terrifying. I know what's over there, too. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna great magic barrier. Because the dark magic is literally one-shotting me, and that is no bueno. You guys are really good ways to get large titanite if you want to farm it instead of, uh, just buying it. I would just buy it because... Oh my god, because you can farm souls. Shoot dark magic. Right on cue, right guys? I guess it's becoming a running theme for me to die 10 times in each one of these episodes. I think we're at 8 right now. And there will probably be more deaths. I can guarantee that. God, these things are just fast. Just a little bit faster than you. Let's run hide behind the stalagmite. Stalagmite, stalactite. I don't know which one's which. I know one's the ceiling, one's the floor. That was risky maneuvers. The, oh my god, the, the pointy rock saved me. Oh, we tank it! Okay, that is the worth of Great Magic Barrier. And that right there is the shotgun that has killed us almost twice now. Dark Bead is by far the most overpowered spell in this game. It is a shotgun. You run up to something, you press R1, and it dies. And it's as simple as that. On heading down, we're gonna see. Oh, look at the little humanities. Um, which way do we want to go? We'll go. We'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way first. And I believe. Hmm. I think we want to go. Yeah, we want to go this way. Oh. Oh, there's a little. Hey, Alvina? I really hope that's her name. I think that's her name. It's like she's leading us. These guys are not that dangerous, but if you stand on top of them, they will just do continuous damage. So watch out for that. The bigger ones do more damage than the little ones. I'm here. It's a lie. But a lie that we were led to. Now if you come over here, you're gonna see a, a very, very good boy that's trapped. That's our buddy Sif. But wait, we killed Sif. Well, as Chester said, we we're in the past. When Sif was still alive. Mm -hmm. 
Say, Sif, buddy. Helping him gives us the cleansing great shield. Very useful shield for the boss coming up in this area. We aren't going to use it. It's probably a mistake not to use it. I don't think I can even wield it probably. I probably don't have the strength for it. Come over here. You will get a shortcut all the way back to here. Nice little handy shortcut if you need it. That goes so fast. All right, back out here. We want to head over here. This place is really dark. It's hard to see. Bear with me. Uh, we're going to go up. So I want to get back to where we fell and go... Oh, you! Yay, humanity. Alright, this is back to where we fell. We are, we got some clearing out to do. I think we're going to switch to the one hand for this. The wide sweeps may do us a little bit better than the, uh, the little overhead swings. Especially for these little guys, you kind of just want to mow them down. Hold on, let me check and see if there's something up here real quick. Nope, I didn't miss anything. Alright, so now we want to go over here. We want to drop over here. Hello, Mr. Humanity. Help me! Oh, yeah, we need help. I think drop a lot of humanities. Ah, oh, this is a sketchy maneuver. I'm not taking the plunge there because I think you will still get damaged in their death animation. Oh, no. Risky. Just want to kind of stay calm through it. Like I said, they just kind of hover to you, so it's not like they're flying at you, or whatever. They're not going to lunge at you. They're just going to slowly, menacingly run at you or float at you. Ooh, 20 minutes. Oh! My uh, yep, and that's what happens. It's fine. I kind of wanted to die anyway and go back. I want to become a human for this next part. Alright, and we're back. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck?! God. So here you get the pyromancy black flame. Black flame is an extremely power pyro pyro extremely powerful pyromancy. Whew, mouthful. It's a basically a upgrade to great combustion. I think going up here is just going back to where we were. Yeah, this is stiff. Okay. So head back down here. Good thing is you can run through these enemies quite literally. Wouldn't recommend doing it a lot, but just to get back to where we were. <laughs> we want to keep on heading down. I gotta go all the way back. Uh, I think I gotta go all the way back. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back to where that uh, one caster was. The one that I snuck up behind. I think there was a humanity on the corpse. Mm 
This guy right here. Oh god. <laughs> we both missed. Alright, let's head down this bridge. This bridge is a little sketchy. It's kind of got slope mechanics. You'll slide off if you're not careful. Head down here, turn around. Get some twin humanities. We love those. Head down here a little bit more. Got a few more of these guys we gotta clean up. Oh god. Don't be careful locking on to these guys too, because since they go into you, your camera will go all wonky. Soul of a hero. And I'm sure you guys can imagine what's on the other side of this. If you look down there, you see the beating red eyes, what we're about to face. I want to use the Ring of Steel protection for this. Um, do I have the equip load? I do have the equip load. Let's put on some Elite Knight Gauntlet. And I think this is what we're going to run with. Let's get full HP. Every little HP is going to help with this. Alright. When you are ready. Let's go. Time to take the epic dive into this boss fight. Oh god, be gentle. Please be gentle. same hand that grabbed us to pull us in we are now confronted with the beast meet Manus the father of the abyss now you want to be quick because this is the only boss fight in the game that has a summon sign within the boss fight. We can summon Sif to help us, and yeah, we're summoning Sif. Just kind of keep on stalling until we get Sif in here. We can split the aggro and I can heal up. I just don't feel comfortable being at 700 HP. Alright. So Manus is extremely, extremely dangerous. He has a lot of combo attacks, a lot of wide sweeps that attack right there if you get hit by the first one you're in it for the whole combo does a crap ton of damage you also gotta you also gotta worry about his dark magics that's what the silver out that's what the silver pendants for One thing I will say about a tag team fight is always assume the boss is on you. Even if the boss has its back turned to you, just assume it's always on you and try to play it like that. Don't get too damage hungry. Don't get too trade hungry, especially with Manus. Manus has a crap ton of HP. That This is definitely a fight of attrition where you are going to need to conserve your resources and outlast them. Just reducing each and every one of these hits by a little bit. <sighs> Using items like the Sanctus would actually be... That's death. Yeah, it's... Oh god, he did so much damage on that first hit. Not that he's any better close up. What are you doing? 
Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's probably fine, though, honestly. Jeez, that does so much range. Okay, that doesn't do shit. Alright, it's up to do my claymore. The rolling poke on this claymore is actually the perfect thing for this fight. Oh no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Take that. You just have to sort of stay alive for the next hit. Good counter, good heal. 10 Estus, third of the HP. Just gotta play smart here. And by smart, I mean let's not take trades after getting hit once. Let's heal up quick. Sif! What are you doing, my guy? Help me, please! Please, Ricky, do not choke this. Do not choke this. Sif, help! I got you, Sif! Let's go! You're such a good boy! Sif, you're such a good boy! We did it! We beat Manus! For defeating Manus, you get the Soul of Manus and 10 whole humanities. The Soul of Manus can be used to create Manus' Manus's catalyst or you can trade it with Snuggly back in the Undead Asylum for the Pursuer spell. Pursuers basically acts like a crystal homing soul mass, but it's slow moving projectiles that do a lot more damage. And the one we came looking for is Dusk. In utter shock. She doesn't talk to you, no matter how much you talk to her. But yeah. That is the Dark Souls DLC. Except for two things. We've got two more things to do real quick. First off, let's go back to... Let's go back to the garden. Back here, I want to level up real quick. We are going to put this into faith. And we're going to go talk to Miss Mushroom over here. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human. Even halting the spread of the abyss, I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. Elizabeth mushrooms will heal your HP slowly over time. Pretty cool item. And yeah, alright. May, May the flames guide you too. Until I plunge this world in darkness. One more thing to do. We have to go pay visit to a uh, certain someone. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you. Mm, you. You have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine, then. What is it that you need? Did you really slay Knight Artorius? I'd heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ulysseel has brought the Abyss upon itself, fooled by that toothy serpent. 
they upturned the grave of primeval man and incited his ornery wrath. What could they have been thinking? But to you and I, it's all ancient history. You have to ask yourself, does it really matter? <laughs> So, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> well, you've quite the nerve. I've had enough of you. Well, I... I'll be seeing you if you survive. You. All right, so, detour from Chester real quick. So, obviously, we haven't gone and seen Gwyn yet but essentially we know that Gwyn is what happens when you link the fires at the end obviously the other choice we have is to plunge the world into darkness I'm not a Dark Souls lore expert but call me crazy is Manus what happens when you plunge the world in darkness or essentially are we trying to become Manus if so that's freaking dope and I think to celebrate our new discovery, whether it being right or wrong. What now? You think this is all my fault? Yeah, it's How your very, fault. Very, very petty of you. <laughs> you win. Please. Oh, please. Have mercy. For defeating Chester, you'll get Chester's armor. A lot of people believe Chester is an early Bloodborne reference. Just the way he moves, the way he fights, his armor set, how he doesn't look like he fits in. It's... I think it has some truth behind it. But, on that note, we have finished everything the DLC has to offer. We have slain Knight Artorius, we've slain Calamite, and we, now we have slain Manus. We're not going to talk about the Sanctuary Guard in the beginning. Next episode, we have just a few more things to f just a few more things to finish up on the main world before we go and see Gwyn and eliminate him to become our own version of Manus. Next episode will be the end of it all. I can't wait to see you guys then.